Yeah. Good evening, students. Today we are going to discuss one more other part in our chapter playing with magnets. So today we are going to discuss about the activity five. What is that activity five? Finding directions with a bar magnet. So by using a bar magnet, we are going to know the directions. So first i will write the lesson name and i will write the activity what is we are going to do later on we will discuss one by one let me write first activity and lesson name so our lesson name playing with magnets playing with Magnet, magnet. So we are playing with the magnet. This is our lesson. Then what we are going to discuss? Activity five. So what is this activity five? Our lesson name: playing with magnets. So we are going to discuss about activity five. What is our activity five? Finding directions with a bar magnet. Finding directions. Directions with a bar magnet. Bar. Is it sufficient to write here? Magnet. So by using a bar magnet, we are going to find directions. Okay. Is it clear? Right. Let me explain one example. Later on, we will discuss with the textbook. Okay. So what is that example here? we want to know the directions of earth so here what is given here to know the directions of earth there is an instrument which is useful to find out the directions what is the name of the instrument means magnetic compass magnetic compass so it is given clearly in our textbook so if there is no magnetic compass what we have to do to know the directions of earth so here one simple way we can find the directions of earth so let me give one example first without using also magnetic compass we can find out the directions of earth so how can we find out that directions means first you have to stand to go to the sunlight when it is sun rising in the morning itself for example to me the whatever the side i am facing so if it is sun rising it is east so east exact opposite west east to west so to my left this is my left hand so it is north to my right side it is south let me draw this uh, picture here this example if you see okay here mark is there so it is east it is west and north south. North south. For example, this is east side. So if I turn this, this side is north and this side is south. My back is west. East west, north south. So these are the directions. Why we are discussing about this means it is 
generally we can find out without using magnetic compass but here whether it is correct or wrong that we can prove with the magnets okay so that's what uh, here by using magnet that is a bar magnet we will find the direction so there is an instrument that is magnetic compass in that also magnet is there that also shows directions by using that also we will find the directions so magnetic compass contain magnet but here we are using directly magnet to find out the directions so what is given in our textbook that i am going to explain as this with the magnetic compass means by using a magnet by using a magnet Right. Let me read the first. What we want to do? Suspend the bar magnet freely with the help with the help of a thread tied around its center as shown in Figure four. Does magnet remain stationary? Wait for some time what do you find see that is given in our textbook so for that what we want to do here you have to take a bar magnet so this is i am going to show as a bar magnet it is one of the bar magnet so here if you use the bar magnet you can see Two colors you can find. So this is half of one color and a remaining color, another color. So here I am going to show half of the color. This is north, this is the south pole of the magnet. North and the south pole of the magnet. Already in, the, in previous uh, uh, activity we discussed about poles of the magnet. So there are two poles are there. This magnet we want to tie to one of the hand by using a thread. Here we tied a thread around bar magnet in the center. Suspended means it left in the air by tying a. Okay, I am going to use this one. So the, here is a stand, there is a rod, here also one rod will be there, here we tied that. Okay, what is here? See, like this. So here, if we tie like this, what will happen? What will happen here? Three questions asking here. What are the three questions which are given in a textbook? You observe clearly. Does the magnet remain stationary? Means, will it stay in any direction? The rotating, will it stop or not? It will stop. It will stop. And one particular uh, direction, it will stop. That is the first answer for the first question. Wait for some time what do you find now so i will show that i will show that with me bar magnet is there already i used thread okay what we want to do just to take this bar magnet okay what we have to do this is a bar magnet i'm going to show to you the white dot is there one side it is north side where I hold that is a south side. So suspended means like this. I want to tie to the stand and it should rotate. It should rotate. After some time, it will stop. So what is given there in our textbook? Does the magnet remain stationary? Means will it stop 
or not yes it will stop in a particular direction it comes to rest means it will stop see now it stopped it is nearly it is near so you can see this side white is there this appearing white dot here that is the north side so we want to find until it stops we have to wait and we want to find okay right it will stop let me stop because it will take more time to view okay somewhere it will stop right so which side white is there my side this side white is there and that side not means it is south and that is a north north or south so it is north not south because what they say white dot where it is that is a north and the opposite side is south okay is it clear i think you understood it is so where it is white mark see now i am going to hold this one and i am going to show to you where it is white mark here white mark is there see white mark is here so which means here it is north and opposite side is a south so what did we understand here so when we suspend a power magnet what will happen magnet comes to rest in a particular direction so on the bar magnet poles are there where the white mark is there that is north pole where there is no white mark that is south pole so to identify the north pole one mark we will keep that is a white mark is there in the on that magnet so that comes rest to me or toward to the board so it is north direction and opposite is a south direction so according to this north south means this is north and this is south means east to west east to west so opposite directions east and west so by using that we can find out the directions of earth so already north south directions we known with the help of suspended bar magnet so remaining we can find by using this so what we are learning here with this activity let me read this once again so whatever the questions which are given in our textbook once you see that what do you find now what did we find here we found that when we suspended the bar magnet it comes comes to rest in a particular direction that we will find so in what direction those are stopped that we can find out with the help of north and south poles north and the south poles south side what north side what we can find with the help of poles of the bar mat right so now what is given here will you notice the magnet finally takes a position in north south direction yes we notice that north and south direction they comes to rest that is a important thing we will find in that activity mark the end the points toward the north with the some color already there is a color white color that is that is north what is given here mark the end that point towards the north with some color there will be white mark so we don't need to write we can find that 
now disturb the bar magnet again wait for some time it means what what is given here it is not marking on the bar magnet so this side where it comes rest here we will keep the mark so it is a north side and it is a so north side and the south side when it comes rest we have to keep mark on that area not on the magnet so again we want to disturb then after some time it will come rest to the same direction it will stop the same direction so will it happen or not that we want to find no doubt it will come out so once again i will do that with this bar magnet so already i showed to you know once again i will rotate this and i will leave this one so it will take some time but i will stop in the middle and i leave until it, it comes to rest okay again it is rotating so that's what simply hold and i left so rotation speed can reduce and it will reduce the time also so there is no massive just to reduce the time that i stopped but when it comes rest exact direction then only so last time i showed north this side whether north side is not here or not see once again the same so last time the first time also here this is north side to go to me opposite to me south so again it come the same it comes to rest the same this side north and that side south so that that we have to find we found now by the practical then what is given in our textbook continuation what is given where does the colored portion comes to rest what did we observe there what did we observe there so what is given in our textbook listen carefully north to south that only we observed once the answer you have to write where does the colored portion comes to rest north and the south north and the south so north and the south so north to south direction north south direction so north south direction only we found in that bar line repeat this experiment at another place what do you observe so again the same activity here i am doing that activity we have to move some other place and there we have to do the same activity if you do there also the same thing so now i am unable to move here and there but that also we can do if we go somewhere if we do some other place there also north south directions only we can find in that area by using that bar magnet so here or there wherever it is north south directions if you find remaining two directions we can find automatically so that is magnets always comes to rest in north south direction so if we go somewhere there also we can find north south direction in each case the marked end points to go to north this is end known as north pole of magnet this end is known as north pole of the magnet the other end which points toward to south is known as south pole of the magnet so already we discussed this is north pole of the magnet and other one is a south pole of the magnet so i am going to show with another magnet with me two magnets are there one i showed with the thread the another magnet is there you can see here the point is there white point this is north the opposite pole is south this is south 
north here is a south this end is south clear so these are north and south so north pole we call it and uh, opposite side we call it a south pole okay this property of poles of magnet called directional property directional property so write one more question what is directional property what is directional property so a bar magnet contain two poles one is south pole another one is a north pole together called as directional property of bar magnet so that only what is given once again i am reading here the other end which point toward the south is known as south pole of bar magnet this property of bar magnet is called directional property directional property what is directional property means a bar magnet contain north pole and south pole these together called as directional property it is exhibited only by magnets we use this property to make the magnetic compass we use this directional property so we can write a question so on which basis we can make magnetic compass on which basic or on which basis we can make a magnetic compass we can make a magnetic compass on or by using the magnetic by using the magnetic um, properties what is it directional properties directional properties we can make a magnetic compass by using a bar magnet directional properties or magnetic directional properties so by using the magnet only we can make a compass magnetic compass so which purpose do we use magnetic compass we use magnetic compass to find out the directions of a place wherever you are if you want to know the directions of that place you should use magnetic compass then you can find out the south north east west directions of that place so this is very important thing so army navy air force mainly army and navy uh, departments soldiers and coast guards they use directional property means magnetic compass they know they should know the directions of the place wherever they stood for that they used the magnetic compass right so here what is magnetic compass there is one more question so these are all we prepared ourselves which are not in our textbook maybe those are in material but we can prepare our own questions and our own answers by using the textbook i asked two questions up to now first one what is the first one what is a directional property a bar magnet contains south pole and the north pole these are known as directional properties so they show two directions so that's what that is called directional property so what is magnetic compass magnetic compass is an instrument which is we use to find out the directions of a place so it is a magnetic compass on which basis magnetic compass made on which basis magnetic compass made so by using directional property magnetic compass can make so the third question what they ask 
What is the third question? What is the use of magnetic compass? To know the directions of a particular place. Why do we use the magnetic compass? To know the directions of a particular place. If we have the magnetic compass, we can find out to the directions of that place. If we are standing here, if you want to know the if you want to know this place directions, which side is north and which side is south and east west to this place, if you want to know. Now there is no sun. So we are in unknown place. If you want to know the directions of the directions of that place, we can use magnetic compass and we can find out the directions of that place. The same thing. The next what is given in our textbook. That is, I am going to read and I am going to explain. Whoever watching the video, you can take your textbook and you can see and you can write the questions whatever I am asking. Then you can understand easy. So this activity also you can use. You can see the, on the board and you can do it at your home in the presence of your parents. So a compass is usually a small box with a glass covering it. So what is given in our textbook, figure 5 is there. That is a magnetic compass. So a small box upon that uh, there is a glass lid is there, it is covering that. What is inside that? Okay. A magnetized needle is promoted, pivoted inside the box in such a way that it can rotate freely. So like our watch hands, wrist watch hands, so there is one needle is there in the magnetic compass. Okay, the compass has also a dial with the directions marked on it. So, in our wristwatch, how do we have the hours 12, 3, 6, 9, 12, or otherwise 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Like that, in a dial is there, in the dial east, west, north, south, and east, west, north south middle whatever the north east south east and north west south west whatever the directions are there all the directions on that dial there is a plate on that plate directions are there on that plate this hands only the magnetized hand which is a mark with the north it is rotating so one mark also will be there on that hand so everything is given here that we can see Okay, what is given here? The compass is kept in a place where we wish to know the direction. Its needle indicates the north-south direction when it comes to rest. So if we keep a compass in a particular place, whatever the place we went, if you want to know the direction of that. So here, whatever I showed the bar magnet, the same thing. The needle in that compass acts as a bar magnet and it comes rest to north south direction. So, here it is without dial, there with the dial and a needle we are using that is also bar magnet that also contain north and south poles. The same thing, so except dial and box here openly we are doing there in that box magnetized needle is there. In, on that needle also north south directions are there so pointed toward to the north north side some particular mark is there here how the white circle is there there some other color is there by looking that color we can find out that is a north side so like that now what happened here the compass is then rotated until the north and the south mark on the dial are exactly below the two ends of the needle. To identify the north pole of magnetic needle, it is usually painted in different color. What do you say that? So red color or blue color or black color, any one of the color. Here how the white circle is there. 
like that on that needle one color will be there that is the end of the north north pole side there will be a color that color indicate us that is a north that is a north so when it comes to rest so then we can say by looking that color so that is north and opposite side is a south so needle that needle direction we can find then we identify north and south at the poles after that we can also identify the east west between them so automatically according to this we can find out if we know the north south we can know the east west also so like that we can find out the directions of a place by using a magnetic compass a magnetic compass is used to find out direction so which purpose up to now we are using to find out the direction it is mostly used in ships and aeroplanes mountaineers and army people also carry a, a compass with them so so that they do they do not lose their way in unknown place what they say that if we go unknown place if you want to know the directions of that place we cannot find out there is no sunlight or if there is no anything just simply it is dark or some unknown place is there so at that time if we have the magnetic compass by using that magnetic compass we can find out the directions of that place so army people navy people air air host people means whoever uh, working in the aeroplanes so captains pilot whoever uh, running that uh, boat or flight they also need the direction so they, they carry this compass along with them so here one note will be there don't keep any another magnet near to the suspended bar magnet or near to the compass why if there is if there is any another magnet is there near to the compass due to um, properties of magnet what will happen the directions will change we cannot find out exact directions of that place for example i am going to show to you so i am going to use two magnets here one bar magnet and another one is another one also bar magnet so already we know that north south so according to the previous cycle if i keep near to the magnet see here the directions are going to change see directions are going to change so that's what we cannot find out the exact directions of a place if we keep near to the compass so this only will be as a needle inside that magnetic compass so i think so you understood what is bar magnet what is magnetic compass what are the magnetic compass properties are directional properties so you have to see magnetic compass if it is possible you can use that magnetic compass in different places whether it is pointing the exact directions of the place or not you can find out by using a magnetic compass in the different places so practically you can find out that so this is the activity up to now whatever we discuss this is the fifth activity finding the directions with a bar magnet so by using this bar magnet we can find out the directions of a place so directional property is there in this activity the directional property helps us to find out the directions of a place